My last video was done in Eldoret and Eldoret is very beautiful. Eldoret is very beautiful. Look at that beautiful environment, my friend. This is Eldoret. This is Eldoret and Eldoret looks beautiful. Eldoret is in Wazingishu County and I'm sure as you look at it, the town looks very beautiful. Now, when you are still in town, you can also see that the roads look very beautiful. Look at the roads, my friend. These are the roads in Eldoret town in Wazingishu County. This one is very beautiful. And leave alone that, my friend. Come to the market. Look at that market. Look at that market, my friend. Najua wengi wako hapa Eldoret, lakina mjawi fika kwa hii market. This is a market in Eldoret town in Wazingishu County. This one also looks very beautiful. Now, let's move to another section. Look at that. Look at that environment. Is it beautiful? Is it beautiful? To me, no. This one does not look beautiful. Now, when I came to Wazingishu County in Eldoret Town, I noticed that there is a challenge in planning big towns, okay? Eldoret is bigger than Kakamega, Eldoret is bigger than Busia, bigger than Bungoma. And so when I reached here, I realized that planning a big town is quite a challenge. But overall, Mandago has done a good job. So let's go to other developments and let us explore Eldoret and the Wazingishu County. I did not have the motivation to explore Wazingishu due to the threats that I received. So when I visited Wazingishu and particularly in Eldoret town, I tried moving around the Wazingishu and Eldoret, taking some images, but decided to keep those images to myself until after elections. But since many of you have been asking where I went, now napo kwa comments, what wana uliza, le grand media ulienda wapi, I have decided to respond, but also allow me to present what I found out in in Wazingishu County before I proceed. I will proceed later to other counties, okay? Please remember, I will only share the images I found out and not all the things that are in Wazingishu County. So most of the things we will come back and explore later. So one of the things I found interesting were the roads in town. My friends, kama kuna mtu ameunda barabara vizuri ni Mandago. You can go to Kakamega County, you can go to Busia, you can go to Bungoma, you can go to Vihiga, you can go to any other county here, including Transoya in Kitale. You will notice that Eldoret has the best roads in town. Na siyo tunakuambia tu, look at those roads, my friends. Look at these roads. These roads are in Eldoret town. Although nasikia watu wamesema ya kwamba si county me Sana, at as we have the Kenya Urban Authority, but if it's done under the leadership of the county, let us also give credit where it's due. Na nikisema mambo ya potholes msifikirie ni kawaida. Some towns around here have potholes with water inside. For instance, one of the favorite comparisons that I always use is Busia, which has roads in town with potholes in town and the potholes have water, okay? Hizi ni potholes, hizi zenye unaona hapa na ziko na maji. Ndani na hapa ni town center. You cannot find such a thing in Eldoret. When you come to Eldoret, there is nothing like that. Sasa utasikia critics wakiniambia ati, oh, Eldoret has good roads because oh, it has a wider tax base. Eldoret has a bigger population and that is why it has good roads. My friends, this is all about planning and not about taxes or population. Munapewa pesa ya development. Na pesa ikifika inafaa mpate good planner, good contractor, wakutengeneza barabara. So, kama imefanywa vizuri Eldoret, let us give credit where it's due. And the counties that have underperformed, you have to check this and learn from this. Sio kuji defend na kuwa in underdeveloped area and you are defending underdevelopment, okay? So, Eldoret town, barabara ni nzuri. So, on this one, my friend, Mandago, congratulations. And what else can we check here? What we can check here are the market. When it comes to markets, Wazingishu has done a commendable job. Though not a very good job, especially in town. Yeah? Why do I say commendable? Now, this market is called Kimumu. Okay? This market is called Kimumu and it is in Eldoret, just on the outskirts of Eldoret town. I reached here and this one just blew my mind. My friend, look at that environment. The environment is looking very good. Look at that. Friends, hapa tuko Kenya. This is not London. This is Kenya. Let me take you inside this, uh, this market so that you can see how it's uh, very good and it's looking very good. This is in Eldoret. Nakumbuka, hii ni Agorofa. 
hii market ni ya gorofa okay so this is my third uh, my third market ya gorofa yenye nimeangalia ya kwanza ilikuwa kakamega ya pili niliona kimilili bungoma so this is the third one in wazingishu county now this you, we are just entering inside now this is inside that market look at that environment my friend and i think this one looks very beautiful now we can go up uh, upstairs now these are the staircases hapa ni staircases and we are moving up now we are going huku juu hapa ni juu okay now up here this is where we have the stalls look at these stalls okay but after visiting other markets especially the markets in Kakamega and Kimilili in Bungoma I can say I have some reservations about this market this market is very good ukiangalia kutoka huku nje angalia huku nje my friend look here hapa ni nje okay this is a very beautiful market na ukiingia hata hapa ndani angalia hapo ndani and then look at those staircases this thing looks very beautiful okay but ukipanda huku juu now when you move up here you can notice that hawakupanga hii market vizuri Okay. You will notice that uh, designing ilikuwa na shida kidogo. For instance, look at this one in Bungoma in Kimilili, okay? The stalls are up there. Look at the stall. There we have adequate fresh air and natural lighting. So we have adequate natural lighting in Aingia ndani and we have fresh air in Aingia ndani. Look at that my friend, that is very cute. Hapa ni Bungoma na hapa ni Kimilili ya. But when you come to Wazingishu, you find that stalls are up here na zimejificha ndani ya roof, okay? Look at this one zimejificha ndani ya roof and by the way sasa mnaona mnaweza ona that when we compare counties that are doing development we only focus on the we only focus on the architecture we focus on the painting we focus on the environment but developments are there okay so we just focus on other things sio county zenye zimelala governor meiba pesa yote governor jajenga market so when we come to the county we don't find a market we don't find roads we find potholes in town but when you go to other towns like in like now you can see when i have been doing comparison on here you will find that kakamega has very good roads like in ndogo but when you come to wazingishu the roads are wider and they are done very well so that those are the things we want to compare we don't want to come to a county na tunapata hakuna kitu hakuna kitu governor amefanya okay now now i really have an issue with the designer of this market the designer of this market did not did not consider the air and the position and the strategic position of the stalls so watu wenye watakuwa huku juu kutakuwa na jua kutakuwa na joto kidogo and they will not feel very comfortable na hakutakuwa na ile environment ya nje kama bungoma vile ziko hapa or just like kakamega okay again Bungoma has partitions fully done mpaka kwa milango. Look at this my friend, Bungoma has very good partitions and this is reflected when you come to Kakamega. When you come to Kakamega the markets you can see several partitions, okay? Na zina accommodate watu na watu wanafanya kazi vizuri because th those partitions allow for their specials, okay? But when you come to Wazingishu hakuna Look at this environment hapa chini. Hakuna hizo vitu, okay? So overall the two markets are awesome. The one in Bungoma and the one in Eldoret and the one in kakamega okay shida tu yangu ya eldoret ni kwamba watu watabebana na mambao na walete tena kwa market waweke hapa ndani okay look at this free space look at this free space watu watabeba mambao na walete hapa ndani but when you are in bungoma wewe unaingia tu kwa stall yako imeshatengenezwa it's permanent na unakaa hapo anyway this is a job well done by the governor The governor also provided a very good environment to do business in town way back in town. Hii yenye nimekuwa nikikuonyesha sio market ya town so let me take you to town, okay? Let's go tuende kwa market ya town and this is the road towards the market. Hapa unaenda kwa market unakuja hivi and then this is the entrance. This is the entrance unaingia hapa and now we are inside the market in Eldoret town in Wazingishu County. Now Please note that Eldoret is very populated, much more populated than Kakamega, than Busia, than Bungoma, than Wazingishu, than Vihiga. Eldoret is very populated, okay? I would have criticized this market. Look at that market. Look at this market. Now, I would have criticized it without considering the population. But when I checked the population, I realized that Eldoret is very populated. And when I looked at the population, I understood the challenges that big counties have when it comes to planning for the larger population of traders. Okay? For example, these are small partitions in Kimilili in Bungoma. Unaona hizi partitions? They are very small, okay? 
but they look very beautiful na zitatosha watu because of the smaller population okay now if you come to Kakamega we also have smaller partitions na zitatosha watu okay now come to Eldoret come to Eldoret and look at that environment look at the population look at that space it cannot be enough traders are selling many things and they need a bigger space for example look at those groceries look at those groceries you can't limit a person who is working here na unakuja unamweka kwa castle kama haka unaona haka now a person with all these things look at all these things his zote unakuja unamweka kwa castle kama haka okay haka look at this one it cannot work it cannot work i now understand why they could not have those partitions in this market and i now understand why the market is wider and it had to be made bigger to accommodate a large population of traders we have a very bigger space here here very wider space watu wanaweka tu mbao na wanafanya biashara but kwangu mimi kuweka mbao hainikali poa an alternative has to be found to ensure that those spaces are permanent anyway the market in town ukiangalia vizuri the advantage is that the county government ensured that hakuna matope hakuna matope kabisa okay hii sio mchezo wenye unakuja hapa angalia hapa hapa ni viiga look at busia county hapa ni busia county look at busia county in a ma- in a market my friend angalia market vile inaka but when you come to Wazingishu even though it has not built a very uh, modern structure to accommodate all these people it has ensured that hapa chini hakuna matope kabisa so even if it rains you can just walk here very well and uh, enjoy your stay here okay i also visited the stadium this is a uh, eldoret stadium and this stadium is under construction I was not allowed to enter here and I understood the office of the uh, people manning the gate. Please note that in every construction site, at every construction site there are rules and regulations. So ukikatazwa kuingia mahali ambapo wanafanya construction, usisikie vibaya. Hata mimi nilikatazwa, mimi kwetu ni Kakamega, I was in Kakamega, I went to Buhungu Stadium na nilikatazwa. I never felt bad because at any place where they are doing construction, you are not allowed to just enter there. There are rules and regulations governing construction construction sites okay in bungoma i only stood unaona hapa bungoma niliwapea tu hii footage peke yake okay in bungoma i was allowed to just stand on uh, at the gate i was not allowed to move inside so wakati nilichukua tu footage moja nikaambiwa nitoke okay so when you are told to get out please get out something bad can happen to you when you are still at the construction site so that was the same case in eldoret so So on this one we can congratulate the county efforts to make this stadium because this is the home of champions okay sio kama Transoia when you go to Kitale Kitale stadium inaoza Kitale stadium inaoza my friend unashangaa Bungoma stadium inaundwa Kakamega stadium inaundwa Eldoret stadium inaundwa na ukienda Transoia Kitale stadium inaoza badala ya kuundwa okay so we don't want to be walking around counties and comparing things that are dying we want to compare developments and this is why i was receiving threats because what when you wanafanya vitu zinakufa tena wataki muonyesha content kama hii they feel bad when you show such, such kind of things so watu mpige tu kura vizuri because nikiacha hii tumeacha hii content watu mtaenda kwa your tribal things mnapiga kura vibaya alafu mnakuja tena mnaanza kulalamika now guys as you can see i spend a lot of time in town and realized that planning a big town with a bigger population can be a challenge as you can see mandago has tried to put road he has tried to put a stadium here he has tried to put markets but bado kuna mahali hapa kwa mtumba unaangalia hapa kwa mtumba hapa hapa kuna shida kidogo this one this place has not changed much this place has not changed much people are still selling like they used to sell 10 years ago so kuna kan kama hakuna development imefanywa yoyote but you can't criticize mandago because this county this town is big and he has tried the much he can All we can say is that the next governor should consider this place. After my review of town, I tried to investigate other developments in other areas, specifically just near the town, okay? People here agree that Mandago has done a good job. By the way, kuuliza watu wengi sana Eldoret watakwambia Mandago has done a good job. And considering what he has done in town, lazima kuna vitu huko ndani amefanya. But you know on this channel we don't rely on people's opinions because someone may be supporting the governor na anatupea tu opinion, but when you visit you find that hakuna kitu, okay? 
but i did not visit the rural area so much because of the threats that i received na nikaona acha ngoje kidogo hizi kura ziishe so that we can resume this kind of content and show people the developments that are happening because watu wana feel ni kama nikifanya hii content sana na waribia reputation yao and many of them actually many governors are still going back seeking votes to occupy other positions and i don't want to appear like i'm, I'm a barrier to them the barrier is you you the voters nyinyi ndio kuangalia kwenu kuona mlifanywa nini so that you can vote for people that you think can do development but i could also notice some downside when i was in wazingishu okay mandago did not do rural development like oparanya because nilisonga songa huko ndani kidogo okay mandago did not do very much in terms of rural development like oparanya oparanya made several rural roads mpaka ukienda huko ndani kaka mega huko ndani kuna for example kuingia huko kuisera huko ndani manyulia huko ndani kote ni lami imejaa huko okay hakuna barabara inaishia town ukitoka town kuanza kuenda huko ndani okay but in eldoret utapata barabara nyingi zinaishia town okay for instance this is eldoret town na unaanza kutoka ndani unakuja na hii barabara inaenda inakuja hivi look at that road it's very good inakuja hivyo alafu inaishia hapo inaishia hapo okay so kutoka hapo kwenda mpaka huko vile juko ndani hakuna lami yoyote na hii inaishia town okay the rest kwenda huko yote mpaka mashinani ni rough road and i tried to visit other various places mpaka huko tarbo i could not find any tarmac road ya county huko ndani na tarbo kuna shida my friend Tarbo ni hapa hapa ni Tarbo here hapa mahali penye unaangalia hapa ni Tarbo and it is in Wazingishu county just near Kakamega county hakuna kitu cha maana cha county imefanya hapa except except this dairy project here look at that dairy project look at that dairy project hii ndio imefanywa hapa na county peke yake but when you come here and you start assessing what has the county done what has it improved the life of the life of people much you find no 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 because there are no roads here there is no market there is no so unapata tu watu here watu hapa hawa feel kama kumekuwa na maendeleo sana ya county okay but the dairy project here has helped many people sell their milk because many people here keep dairy cattle and this is good because many people can find a market for their produce so hii barabara wengine mnaweza sema at hii barabara so unaona hii barabara kuna alami hapa inaelekea huku this road is a highway and it is a national government road this is not a county government road so tarbo has been neglected and in my view because nimeangalia maendeleo ambayo imefanywa huko town nyingi kabisa i can only say that the next governor of wazingishu county has to consider the tarbo people just like the next governor of kakamega county should consider the people of lugari and the northern kakamega Mi naona vile tarbo imekuwa tu neglected ndio vile lugari and the northern kakamega imekuwa neglected and the the people who are taking over power have to consider these areas i hear many people telling me that uh, mandago has initiated many agricultural projects so i will come back later to cover that when i will resume this content very well so please if you are a resident of wazingishu county you can indicate any of such developments here so that when we visit it can be easier for us to navigate the county to kizipata tunachukua video na tunakuja tunaonyesha hapa but please don't mention hospitals and don't mention schools because we cannot go to schools and we cannot go to hospitals to shoot videos because of ethical reasons so just tell us other developments like agriculture we need roads we need like uh, infrastructure that we can come and shoot and uh, do other things uh, sh schools we can shoot in the weekends hospitals we can only shoot outside but inside going there to shoot patients no 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 that's not ethical sasa hapo tumemaliza wazingishu na Eldoret okay so i wanted to provide such videos back to back back to back for all 47 counties but circumstances now do not allow me in this heated political environment siwezi kuwa nikitembea na kamera na shoot na vesema vile governor ameanda perform na huyo governor anataka kuwa mp huyo governor anataka kuwa UMC yeye wengine mpaka wanarudi chini wanataka kuwa kuchukua viti zingine za chini okay now they are seeking political seats unapata wengine and perform and then they come to use my email that i put here and the mobile phone they start calling me to say that nawaribia uh, reputation yao ya kupata kura so guys um 
I will resume this later. I may do this to make you happy, but for my safety is also not good. So what I can say is that you should choose good leaders so that when we reach your county next, we have something interesting to showcase. So thank you for staying around and we hope that we'll keep it locked here at Le Grand Media. And remember to vote wisely. Until then, we will have other types of content that focus on development in various counties. Thank you and you can subscribe and stay here at Le Grand Media.